Hey guys, what is up? Tim here, and today I'm going to show you the basics of chroma key, or uh, some people like to call it green screening. So I'm just going to show you with a pretty basic example. I'm going to have uh, this represented, uh, this right here, this uh, like this little green piece of cardboard that I have as my green screen, and I'm going to key that out and put some footage of an iPhone game. I don't know, maybe I just that's like really the only thing I could think of. But you can really use it for anything, and just I'm just going to really show you how to key it out anyway. So what we're going to do is just, we're just going to first select our clip and we're just going to drag it into our Final Cut Pro 10 uh, timeline. We're going to want to put it on the middle track, uh, which obviously Final Cut 10 doesn't give you an option to do anything other anything else otherwise, but I'm just going to adjust the uh, audio right there. You don't need to do that. But you can see it and we're going to choose exactly where we want it to start playing. So right there is about where we want to start it and we're going to take the blade and we're going to cut to the places where we want our project to start and end. So now that we've cut that out, we can see that it is pretty smooth and we're not going to have any real issues uh, when it comes to like transitioning or anything like that. So now you can see everything is in position and uh, we have everything we really need to start it. So now I can take this footage and drag it right underneath it and do that. And so now that that's done, we can go to our video effects, which is right here in the little browser thing. We can go over to keying, and just go to keyer, and it's as simple as this. Just drag it right on, and it has keyed out the green. Now, you can just click on the clip and inspect it a little bit. Um, you can see the sample color. If it didn't do a good job, uh, you can just click sample color and then click on the part where it didn't actually do it. But for now, it did a pretty good job, so we're just going to stick to it. And now, now what I'm going to do is take a part where there's no um, green screen footage and we're going to size this down so it will fit onto the green screen itself. Oops. So now that we've sized that down, we have it in a reasonable spot. We'll put it like, I don't know, right there. We can adjust it later. But you can see that I am, it look, appears that I am holding an iPhone game kind of thing. I don't know, it's kind of cool if you ask me, but um, there are some practical uses to it. I'm just going to move this over a little bit. I should move it that way. And I don't think, yeah, see, you can obviously adjust it so there's no black or anything like that. And I'm just going to, just to make it, just for the purpose of the uh, tutorial, let's just do that over again, just go over the steps. I'm going to take a different clip this time and just try it again. So I just go to keyer, add key. And then we're just going to go to our thing down here and just drag it down. It's as simple as that, and we're good to go. So I'm just going to obviously try to crop this just to make it look a little better, just to show you guys what you can really get uh, when you finish this. Give me one sec. Sometimes Final Cut Pro 10 can be a little tricky when it comes to uh, resizing objects, just because it's a little clunky. Uh, um, I found that with Final Cut 10, it's just a little hard to navigate and stuff. Like that, so if we put it right there, we should be okay. Um, let's see, let's go through it real quick and we can turn off the audio. And obviously, we're just going to move it over a little bit that side just so it's a little more centered. I'm going to cut off the beginning. Cut off the very end. And we should be good to go. You can see that it appears as though I am holding um, an iPhone. And if you were to do like something like a review or something, you could have that as like an intro. I don't know. There's really tons of uses for uh, key framing and chroma key. Um, just they're useless. I mean, the uh, the applications are just uh, just astronomical. There are tons of ways in different styles and ways that you can use this and um, you can see it ended there so you can just cut the end of the clip. So basically my point of that was just to show you how important chroma keying is and uh, I just showed you how to do it so I really hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. It only took about five minutes so I really hope you guys learned a lot in five minutes and uh, that's pretty much it for today guys. Thanks a lot for watching. This has been Tim and I'm out. Peace.